What is up guys? Um, yeah, different video today. So I made exactly 211K in September. I'm gonna talk about exactly how I did that. Plus, you know, a couple of thoughts on it. Um, it's down 5% from last month. So it ain't great, but hey, you know what? Maybe you'll, you'll learn a thing or two if you watch the full video. Um, if you're new here, Sorry, for the next couple of minutes, I'll be eating creatine plus reporting my numbers from the day before. If you're not into this like transparency thing, you're in the wrong channel. Um, go ahead and just like click out of it. Uh, here we go. Had drinks last night. Pretty naughty because it's on a Monday, but you know, once in a while. Here we go. You're probably thinking, Jackie, are you drinking pop in the morning? No, it's just sparkling water. It's called orange bubbly. Uh, pretty good. You're probably wondering how it is with the creatine. It's not great. It's not great. So I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, I've done it before, but it's all right. Um, anyways, sorry. You guys don't even care about that. Yesterday, we did $3,008 in total revenue. Um, up seventy dollars from the day before. We got Amazon coming in at fourteen twenty five, MediaVine at seventy one dollars, and the the adult revenue source that we don't talk about at fifteen twelve. Um, the adult revenue source is going well. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much about it. I'm not trying to get clapped out here. All right, all right. So just know your boy is doing a okay, and um, yeah, Google is. I don't know what's going on with my hair. Oh, fuck it. I got a haircut yesterday. Um, and Google is my bitch, pretty much. Uh, anyway, so let's talk about today's episode. All right, guys, we're in October. Uh, I think I started my first episode in October, right? I'm not too sure, but yes, I think it's been a year. Episode 319, if you sign up for the first link in the description, you get sent this sheet. Today's, like I said, episode 319. Click in. And you know what? There's not much today, but if you guys want to follow along my <clears throat> daily revenue reporting, then yeah, here it is. Um, another thing is I'm going to, in the comment section on YouTube, please, the tax today is I reported my numbers on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it, right here. If you guys don't mind, I, I linked it in the comment section. If you guys don't mind, go and uh, engage with it. This is my second year almost reporting my numbers on a monthly basis. I am the last guy standing. Well, almost the last guy standing. But like, just help help me out. The engagement has been weak. Look at this. I posted this an hour ago and we got 2.4K views. I don't know. Maybe my posts just have, they just haven't been hitting recently. You know, help me out. Help me out here. Anyways, I'm going to talk through each line item. I'm going to talk about how I did it. And um, yeah, hopefully it was helpful. And people who have been following me for a while, this isn't a flex. It's for educational purposes only. Um, yeah, here we go. Indexy, what does that include? Indexy came in at 42.7K. I believe link building, uh, that is like roughly the same. So I think we did 30 point something, 31K in September for link building. Um, decent. And then the rest comes from old clients. Well, one old client, um, we got, what else we got in there? Oh, wait, right. Retail rank and rent is part of that as well. So what does retail rank and rent mean? It means we rank for certain keywords, like as an example, best protein powder. And then we find protein powder companies to pay us, um, like one to 5k a month to be placed number one on that list. All right. And we did that. Um, so I think it's like, we only did six, seven K that month, this month or September doing the retail rank and rent, not high by all means. I think this came down to, it used to be like a hundred K a month or something like that. But, uh, yeah, it's rough out here. We got Amazon coming in at 40.9 K pretty good. Um, Amazon means Amazon affiliate. And uh, yeah, it was a decent month, decent month. We got 
the adult revenue source that we don't talk about anymore coming in at 30.4k or sorry 30.6k um good month good month like i said not going to talk too much about it the advise community came in at 29.5k which is solid um quick plug if you guys want to sign up advise.so slash apply one of the greatest communities out there right now um second to none second to none uh we got levanta coming in hot as well uh right version version.so it's like an seo company that i started with someone else um all the clients flow through there now uh minimum retainer is 5k a month i don't know why it's 90.7 i think we have some like rank and rents in there um i think we only have like two or three clients right now it's all right it's all right um our revenue jumps up and down quite a bit for version but it's fine i'm not too upset about it uh we got levanta coming in hot at 17.7k this is split between two sites one was a old site that's been clapped um and another site that's doing relatively well that i'm not going to talk about um so there's that short-term rental in lisbon 16.7k uh this is before management fees management fees like roughly 20 percent um and uh yeah net net probably like after paying my mortgage probably like at like seven 8k in profits these these not complaining combined sell health fan fuel vpn and bonds coming in at 3800 sell health and fan fuel are pretty much like write-offs now they only do like 2k a month combined vpn did like three four hundred bonds you know pretty steady at eighteen hundred dollars a month which is insane if you think about it eighteen hundred like risk-free 1800 is probably more than your favorite like influencer right now honestly not gonna lie uh binance 3500 but bull market is back on we got october coming in today welcome to october so uh expect this to be at like five six k next month media vine week you know we we don't even like display ads anymore it's at 2900 and revive by the way revive we need to talk still works i don't know why people are turning it's it fully still works but it's all right you know it's um i'll keep it running even if if it's just for me because it works so well you know what it actually works with uh bing as well it works well with bing and guys don't sleep on bing um i have a site that does i believe 30 30k a month just from bing that's revenue not sessions all right that's revenue so that's it guys um If you guys found this interesting, let me know down in the comment section. And guys, please go in the comment section, click the link to Twitter, pay your taxes, and I'll answer some questions from the day before. Alrighty. So, Forbes lost lost traffic will be replaced by Reddit, I guess. Yeah, true that. Thanks, James, for this. Let me add it in real quick styles. James doing God's work, really. Hmm. All right, all right, all right. Um, thank you, James. Forbes getting soft clapped for the algo. Feels like a pat on the head. Like someone saying bad dog, then a clap me. But I, I suppose it's something. Yeah, I guess. My guess is those surf spots just got replaced by Reddit. Yeah, a lot of people strong. Forbes to the algo, thank you. Very interesting to see Forbes ranking drop. As X post said, who will benefit from it? LinkedIn, Reddit probably will have, have a great one. Thank you. Actually, I want to check how um, Forbes is doing. Yeah, it's not that bad. Relatively stable now. It's actually on the up. Um, whatever. Good thing you didn't buy it. <laughs> Definitely cannot buy Forbes. Hey, Jackie, I'm building a directory of a specific type, like Clutch for Blue Collar Niche, okay? Starting with a part of Texas can scale to Earth if it works. How would you build link citations to each city or mostly niche edits to the homepage? Um... Thanks in advance. I'd I'd focus on the homepage, man. And it doesn't have to be niche edits. Is it worth building a local directory in 2024? Yeah. <clears throat> they heard Jackie was buying Forbes. They start clapping it. Why do people think I'm buying Forbes? I can't, I cannot afford Forbes, guys. Um, 
What if I partner with them? That'd be pretty jokes. I'm sure they'll bounce within a week. Guys, you know what? I think so. I think they might um, bounce back. I think a lot of what Google is doing nowadays is like only for show. It's pretty pretty sad, actually. Um, Chris says, you need to give Ahrefs time to go through keywords. Yeah, yeah agreed. Um, all right, I guess that's it, guys. Remember to pay your taxes, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.